Former Stone Academy students are holding a rally today after the school unexpectedly shut its doors for good. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Olivia Schuler joins us live now at the school's campus with today's plans. And when is this rally going to happen, Olivia? Hey, Nicole, that rally is happening today at 11 o'clock. Ultimately, these students, they really just want their voices heard and their credits to be honored. It's like they just didn't care. They just threw us right out when, with no questions asked. Students are heartbroken since classes abruptly ended several days ago. Now they're asking for accountability and answers. I put a lot of hard work, sweat, and tears into my education here at Stone Academy. I mean, being a single mother of three, it's not easy. In an effort to get credits honored, Samaya Lyles is helping organize a rally at the East Hartford campus. We are hoping to have them followed by the law, which stands behind us, that states that we should have a teach-up plan where they would finish up our education that we started um, and for our credits to be honored. The Office of Higher Education is planning to provide resources for students at a fair in Hartford the week of February 27th. That is designed to help eligible students with refunds and loan discharges. For students looking to apply to other programs, the Office of Higher Education is in the process of auditing transcripts. East Hartford Mayor Michael Walsh says the list of events unfolding are heartbreaking. I think we're at the beginning of a much longer process and we look forward to Stone Academy sorting out what it is they'll do for these students. A lot of the students, including myself, have worked very hard, like extremely hard underneath the circumstances. Now we all have different stories, but the main thing is we worked hard for our education, we worked hard for our credits, and we want them to be honored. And once again, the event is being held here at the Stone Academy East Hartford campus. Now, students say they also asked some educational leaders, including the school's CEO, to be in attendance. Reporting live in East Hartford, Olivia Schuler, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Olivia, thank you.